this video, I'm going to explain the main differences between water softeners and water conditioners because they are often confused, but they serve totally different functions. So water softeners have been around for a long time and what they do is they take minerals out of your water and they replace them with softer minerals like sodium or potassium and this is just a simple ion exchange process and these are considered softer because they don't uh, build up as much in your system and they don't eat away at your pipes as much as harder minerals do. The positive of softeners is they keep stains from dishes, sinks, toilets and showers and soft water is really the only way to do this and to avoid these stains on the glass like that. So a downside of water softeners is that they can waste a lot of water in order to keep your system fresh. So a softener salesman should test your water as part of the sizing process for your system. So the link I'm going to give you in the description will give you an idea of how much water is used during the regeneration process for different brands of water softeners so you know how much is used when it keeps your system fresh. Since softeners add sodium to the water, it may need another filter like a reverse osmosis system to pull the sodium out so the water is drinkable. So the amount of sodium added to your water during the softening process completely depends on how hard your water is. So say if you're adding it to very hard water, you can get as much as 20 to 30 milligrams of sodium added for every eight ounces of water. For comparison, an eight ounce glass of low fat milk contains about 120 milligrams of sodium. A 12 ounce can of diet soda contains about 40 milligrams and an eight ounce glass of orange juice contains about 25 milligrams. Meanwhile, the recommended daily allowance for sodium consumption is 2,400 milligrams. So it's up to you to decide what's best. So the last downside is that salt-based water softeners are not allowed everywhere. So you have to make sure you can install one in your area before you make your purchase. So on the other hand, water conditioners do not soften water, but they focus on removing harmful chemicals from your water supply, like chlorine. This test showed that when magnets are properly placed, they can affect potassium chloride, which is found in most water. That's why there's a strong magnetic piece inside conditioners called a descaler. And a descaler works to rearrange the ions inside bad minerals so that they don't conglomerate. And this keeps the minerals that you don't want in your system from clogging your faucets and your uh, heat exchanger. The biggest positive with conditioners is that they pull out the harmful chemicals like chlorine, which you don't want to shower in or drink or like wash your vegetables with. And another upside is that they don't waste water because there's no exchange process, but these are just realigning the ions inside your mineral so that it just doesn't have to waste water. So a downside of conditioners is that they do not remove hard water, but it does reduce hard water. If you don't care about hard water though, then it's not a problem for you. So that's all I had to say about conditioners and softeners. If you have either a conditioner or softener, then uh, explain your experience below if you want to share it with anyone. And subscribe to the channel if you like the videos.